Hello everyone, welcome back to Chef Plays, and we're going to be starting a Bioshock 2 series, uh, but we're playing on the Nintendo Switch. I did skip the cutscene because you could not access the options in the main menu, and I didn't want the sound to be like super overbearing. <laughs> and I've beaten this game on the 360, PS4, 5, and 3. Um, but, you know, I wanted to see it on the Switch to see how it compares. I got the bundle a while back. Okay. I got the bundle a while back. And, you know, I only ever downloaded the first one because the first one's my favorite. And then this one. And then Infinite. I don't think Infinite's a bad game. It's just out of the three, it's not my favorite. I really only play uh, Clash of the Clouds when I do play it. I haven't played the campaign for that one in such a long time. And just a couple of prerequisites before we really get into the game is I did mute the music just because I don't want to take that copyright strike chance. It's we're, We've been gaining some decent traction lately, so I don't want to goof it now. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, it shouldn't be that long of a Let's Play series. I mean, it's not a super long game. I think generally it's only like eight-ish hours. Uh, I do have it on easy, so we can just kind of go through. It does look a little better than I expected for being on the Switch. The load times are a little bit longer. Nothing like horrendous. But yeah, now that we've got all the talking fodder out of the way. Got her. Gotta get used to the switch controls. I'm, part of me is doing this because a friend suggested Bioshock and I didn't know what series to play. I know I have the Grounded series currently um, as well, but yeah. We're just also doing this because the hype around Bioshock 4 has been coming back up out of nowhere. As it, used to be, as it tends to do once a, once a year. I'm lightning man. Try not to mess with the microphone cord too much because I know that causes a weird noise in the background. Daddy was sleeping for, for such, such a long, long time. time. And Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. This is actually the first Bioshock game I ever played. Back when it was released on the PS3. A friend of mine got it. Because she really liked the series and I'd never heard of it. So she let me play it. And it's been one of my favorites ever since. And like, because you know it was back when... Still a PNG. <laughs> it was back when uh, this game like released, released. She like pre-ordered it. Or was pre-order anything back then? I don't know. She got it on the day of release. Like we played it day of release. I don't know if it was a pre-order or if she had already had it. Or if she bought it, then I don't know. Video games changed so much, dog. I couldn't tell you what happened when she got it. I just know we played it day release, and it was a solid game. And it's, I think it's, Bioshock is still, even though this is like the remastered, whatever. Uh, I still think Bioshock is a series that holds up so well. It's kind of surprising. Not a lot of series are able to do that these days. This one's not too bad, though. One five forty. I was uh, contemplating making this a uh, um, no commentary, but My husband is such a decided last minute that's He's not what I was gonna do. Let me see if I can get some subtitles going for those things. Gameplay. Dialogue. Steven, I tell him. You want to be fit? Did that not work? Swim laps with me, the old fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. All right. Maybe I'll start sneaking. I don't know. I don't remember what that does. 
It's been so long since I played this game. It's such a classic, though. I've played the first one through again, like ten times, if not more. It's just such a solid game. At last, they signal you who are bringing this dead city to life. Listen, okay. my name it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are. They complete, one thing I didn't help. like is they completely Please, changed how one of the characters looks in, the in this Atlantic game. Express train station. That I remember. Even the, though these games are an open world though, they're still really important to explore them. Because they've got little hidden stuff all over the place. To my daughter, Ooh. Soon Anything in here? Neat. You shall be raised as I was, to advance the common good. When do we get our first uh, firearm, so we can play this game like a true American? Yet our beliefs are unwelcome here. Life will be better, Zap. but the price of revolution is always dear. I forgot how close the diaries were to each other. Oh man. I mean, I guess it kind of helps fill out the silence, because other than that, like, the game's pretty quiet. Uh, so if you don't know the story of this game, you're playing as what's called a big daddy, which, <laughs> which, uh, which is kind of like, so, it's so hard to explain. They're like protectors of Rapture, or not the, all of Rapture. These guys, I'm playing as one of these, but like an old model who's supposed to be extinct. And there's these things called little sisters, which we'll see here soon. And uh, they're like the protectors of them. Which we'll be doing a lot of in this game. Yep, we can hear one already. It's, it, it's running pretty well. I mean, I know I already said that, but it's kind of shocking me how like well it's running on the Switch. I expected it to be a little laggy and look a little rough, <laughs> but it really doesn't. It does both things very well. Not too shabby. I plan on doing a, uh, just cause why not, a little, um, what do you call it, easter egg guide for the ritual, for the scare ritual. Because I beat that easter egg like immediately after recording today's video well not today's yesterday's video my today does that make sense because <laughs> it was really good like i think yeah here we go we're gonna see our first real big bad okay that's pretty low texture <laughs> that's more what i was expecting There's usually some intense music here, but, um, you know, copyright stuff. Howdy, neighbor. Get lightened, nerd. Wow, all the textures just, like, died. It looks like an N64 game right now. You wanna back up? It was looking really well, but then we hit this room and everything just kind of dialed down, <laughs> like, really bad. Oof. Yeah, you better run. Man, what happened? Now it looks like a true form PS3 game. <laughs> Mom's to always watching. Adam is to steal from the Rapture family. Your family. I don't know you people. I'm gonna. This is another game I'm probably gonna play off camera. Cause I forgot how much I love the second one. It's just as much a classic as the first, but I think where the first holds up in its demerit is a not demerit. It's merit is the fact that it has New Game Plus. <clears throat> Which for me is a big thing lately. 
Because even though you go back through and you're super OP when you do New Game Plus on stuff, it's really nice to be able to like max out your character in every possible way. Which you can do with the first one. And I've done that like three or four times. Because it's it's a solid game. <laughs> I don't know if Infinite has New Game Plus, though. I don't play Infinite enough to know. Um, I am getting back into uh, Breath of the Wild, and I forgot how much time the little stuff takes in the beginning. Like, and when you have, like, no stamina and nothing, like, it takes forever <laughs> to do anything. And it's so rough. We'll probably do, like, 20-minute episodes for this uh, series. Just because it's a relatively quick game. Oh yeah, we get to explore the underwater stuff in this game, too. That looks rough. <laughs> oh my. Right. I don't remember where, but I do remember there being slugs underwater. Little Eve slugs, but it's probably after we get our first little sisters, my bet. I don't think they'd do it beforehand. Oh man, <laughs> that looks like a straight up PNG from a distance. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. Oh this wow! Good. But rapture is the death of yeah, many. Yeah, I mean, I understand it. Alone, there was... you will not last long. Oh, you can wow. still reach the train station. Find me there. All right, I'm talking. It's kind of rude, but it. You can, I mean, I know there's hardware limitations, but boy howdy, <laughs> are there hardware limitations. Like, this thing obviously is going to run a little lesser than, like, the PS5, but huh, it runs smooth. I'll give it that. It runs like a charm, but, like, the further I get into the game, uh, the more animated it looks is the right word and that's not a big deal to everyone I mean I could really care less as long as the game runs smooth it's just something I'm noticing like it's get in a way it's taking me aback to like the PS3 version which is fine because I don't have that anymore I wish I did I mean I could get it I think it's like 10 bucks on the PS3 but at the same time up at the same time, I don't need it, you know, because I've got it on other consoles. Yippee! I don't remember... Is that a slug? No. Nope. So we'll find slugs that have, like, um, power-up liquid in it, we'll call it now, for now. It's called Eve, or Adam? Adam. But I don't think they start popping up till the next time we're underwater. Which probably won't be in this episode. But we'll see. I can't wait for the fourth one. I see stuff about it being like open world and whatnot. And it gets me somewhat excited. Um, but I don't think they should hammer on that super heavy. I think they should, to a degree, stick to linear. Like, uh... I think it's something kind of like We Happy Few, where it's somewhat open world, but it's still got that basic linear path. Ah, Herr Delta. You arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. All right. I might miss some things in this playthrough, just because, like I said, it's been a long time since I've played this one. But that's alright. We'll still get through it. Where are you, nerd boy? I forget how goofy the splicers are, too. Ooh, I almost got that guy. Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. I know how this works. 
As much as I like the sewer pipe system of Bioshock 1, I definitely prefer the hacking system in this one. It's a lot more fluent and it takes a lot less time. The hacking system in the first one is fun and it can like really get you engaged, but it it can take an unnecessary amount of time. Should be getting our like first legitimate firearm here soon. I don't remember all the ones in this one. I could tell you all the ones in the first game like the back of my hand, but I, I couldn't tell you. I know there's a shotgun. I think it's double barrel. Uh, there's a minigun. Rocket launcher, maybe. Maybe I should have played the first game first. <laughs> Because there's gonna, they refer to it quite a bit. The self. We reject the tyrant. Maybe I'll make a like long form video on the Bioshock series at some point, because it really is like an incredible story. The only thing is, is I would definitely have to divvy up the first and second game into one video and Infinite into a third, because Infinite's story if you can call it that, is so complicated. It's like, it's all over the place because they have time travel, which immediately makes things 10 times more difficult than it needs to be. I know I switch weapons. Nope. No. Ten years, Subject Delta. We'll leave one TV Since on so you guys can see it. But I just always feel the need to break those. Out of your pain, paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is very similar to, like, the intro of the first game. The third game's intro, however, is very much its own thing. It's Sophia Lem. She has found you. I might get back into the third game. Even though I'm taking a crazy amount of damage there, like, you have to... Just let it happen. Are we good? Alright. Search corpses for loot. I don't see any corpses. I'm sure we'll find something. Oh, there's something. Got a hack dart. I don't know if I've ever seen that corpse before. Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lem. So the even though your helmet allows I me have to like a Switch Pro controller, and help you to it's still her. Nintendo placing their buttons in weird spots. I'm sorry, I was brainstorming what I'm going to call the first episode. Uh, I want to make it somewhat related to the plot, but I don't know. We'll see. It just depends on how creative I feel like getting. I'll say we'll clear out this little section and we'll call it the first you. episode. It's like 20-ish minutes. Excuse me. Isn't there a way to gun it? Oh, it's A. Well, it's not. <clears throat> it's what the jump button would be. No, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, baby. Check me out. Alright, let's uh, search the place. And then we'll call it an episode.
We got a decent amount done. We got out of the first area. Into the second. I mean, I guess if we got out of the first area, that would be the next step. I'm a little lagged today, so... Alright, I think we searched everything. And I think this might be a good place to call it an episode. Because, you know, we'll get this and then we'll do it. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to to toy with you like that ever again. She can try. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. Don't tell me what to do. Punk. Oh, no little so cutscene. Oh, here we go. Throw objects at foes. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. It's just standard telekinesis. Just mind stuff. Whoop. I did not mean to do that. Alright, we'll call it an episode here. So, you know, as always, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a good day. If you're watching early on, have a good rest of your day. See you in the next one, which will be episode 2 of Bioshock uh, 2 on the Switch. And uh, we'll pick up our Grounded series again here soon. I just pretty much beat it on mine. And so it's very hard for me to go back in and do things I know I don't have, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah. See ya.